doesn't know how to cook like you do. This is one passion in life. That's what I'm talking. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it needs to be hot. Hotter? Mm -hmm. Okay, do it. More oil or no? What do you think of some soy sauce? Uh -uh. Mm. No. Okay, what about ideas? What do you need a sauce for? Oh, for, for, dip, for dipping for those shrimp. There's no cocktail sauce in there? What back? about your mustard marinade? Your we never I had make that. cocktail sauce. I'd eat it. Back. You want me to tell you how to make that? Honey mustard for that? Honey, one, it's a... Uh, 40% honey, 40% mustard, 20% mayonnaise. Imagine if we had some pasta to throw this on. Oh, that sounds good. good. Yeah. Look, look you had to have the trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> that actually wasn't pasta. Oh, thank was God it? Danielle's here. What's going on? We're cooking. Oh, back we need a sauce. I don't know what I'm doing. Believe it or not, we are cooking. We need a sauce, Danny. Okay. How long do we boil shrimp for? We don't need jack. Oh, yeah, we need No, 40%. That's what cooked. I said. It said 50% cooked. That's what it said on the package. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. All right, I have to go to the diet room. Sorry, good. I can't finish. Exactly. Finish okay. the job, okay. kids. Yeah. Oh, okay. How do you get... By the time I come back... Oh, okay. That looks yeah. good. Exactly. In the kitchen with Dr. Delicious today. Many, many tips for you <laughs> at home. One thing most importantly is to turn on the stove. That will expedite things. <laughs> Why? What happened? You start in No, Boogie of, did. Mm, not me. It's not warming up? Not me. It was Boogie. <laughs> if you do not turn on the stove, things might not go as well as expected. So you guys need a sauce, you say? Well, we're going to make a dipping sauce to dip those boiled shrimp in. They'll start Dr. 902 and all right away to that? Uh, yeah. I mean, I filmed it like a week before I got on this show. So then the next, they'll be ready for your next episode coming up. Well, they don't really do it like that. Um, with that show, they just sort of st stockpile footage. And um, I have to wait and see what, like, they were waiting for me to see how long I was going to be gone and just sort of see what happens. And they have a number of different doctors, so it just, they don't ha I have no guarantee I had to sign a contract with them for two years, but I don't have a guarantee that I'm on the show at all. Other than that, they they have really they're really trying to make sure oh that I'm on there. That's God. why they made me sign the contract. They put in like ten okay. gloves. Well, this could be a huge boost. Though. Um, not really. This not yeah, the, for my career. Doctor Nana Two and O could be a good boost. This is not going to help me with anything. Did you guys take the shells off and devein them? Take the shells off and devein them? Yeah. Just kidding. We did that. Come on, oh, guys. Okay. Come on, ladies, please. <laughs> I'm nervous. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you gotta ask. Come on. No, I don't know, Doc. That, this could be really positive. No, I'm telling you, you and I have both been on the show. You were on it when it had 25 million viewers, Big and George. This is not... Yeah, uh, you got a point. I mean, this show... You're, if you want work after the show, you can get work in the industry at the rap party working on other shows, working with games, art department, all kinds of stuff like that. But you... But as no one is anything big. No one, Every season, someone goes, I'm going to get a cooking show after this. No, no you're not. No, you're not. Cooking in the Big Brother house for 60 days does not make you right. a professional chef who runs a restaurant. Mm -hmm. That happens every season. Okay, that's a mess. Did that happen? That happen to you guys? Does someone think they're getting a cooking show your season? All right, Erica, your season? All right, mm -hmm. fine. Every other season then. <laughs> we had a lady that was for sure thought she was going to get up. Nicole's going to have a show called Bitchin' in the Kitchen, where she just bitches at people. I kind of like that idea. Though. She did do something. Didn't she? Yeah, with Jason. Jason? Mm-hmm. 
in Canada. Bitchy in the kitchen. I think you just get bitched at all day long. You probably got to get tired of that concept, though. Well, there's, I mean, there's the cooking channel, and that's it. I mean, where, you know, like cooking the shows. No, I love that channel. I watch it all the time. I think these are done. These look done to you, Danielle. Yeah, you don't want to overcook them. They're like, done, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all done. Mm -hmm. Get your plates out. Okay. It's hot. Back up. <laughs> Coming through. Ready, Erica? Yeah, ready. Thank you. A small plate. More? That's perfect. Yeah. No, no, no. A small plate. Not a big one. I'm still used to every Ooh. plate. Are they all right? Hold on. Hey. Lay them on there, doctor. Yep. Thank you. Okay. I just imagine having some pasta in this somewhere. Yeah. Rice. Something. Carb. Carb. Honestly, are they all right? They're delicious. Yeah? Uh -huh. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Doctor's coming around. Get a plate for everybody here. Any more garlic or no? Nope. Now I'm going to keep the sauce out and maybe we can use it with the other thing. The other shrimp? Yeah. So I'm going to leave that for Mike Boogie. Let's see if you don't want to eat that. Black cloaks, and one of them came up behind you, and I pulled the hood off his cloak, and it was this blonde kid. Mm -hmm. and I was like, "Who are you?" And he's like, "I'm Janelle's brother. I'm here to tell our secret." And he's like, "Everyone can tell one contestant a secret, but you have to find your family member." Mm -hmm. so I was like, "All right, go tell her." And then I was running around. I couldn't find anyone from my family. Okay. Yeah, big time. Want to try to buy this, sweetie? I made your plate right here. What time is it? Three? Maybe. I gotta sleep till day. Hmm? I gotta sleep till like six. I don't know, I don't want you sleeping all day. Why? I can't wait to go to sleep. Isn't it? Last night I was like, please let me sleep. I gotta sleep. I gotta sleep. I gotta sleep. I gotta bed. Mm -hmm. Another bite? Airplane's coming in the hangar? Sure. Uh-oh. That's my garlic. Just garlic. There's a lot of garlic on this. Yeah. Is that alright or no? I like it. Me too. I love garlic. Me too. Tell me the Janelle Pierzina story. Did your grandparents come from Poland? And where did you meet your grandmother? Mm. Bite? 
Where do you meet your grandmother? That I don't know. 